Give me it as a Titan. Krista may be new. I don't know. Either way, she's going to try to fight at Utgard while Aaron and company are on their way. I don't know, man. I'm just going to see what happens. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. We're going straight opening maybe from now on. Maybe before they were just setting up the season or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't have any real thoughts or predictions other than that probably Ymir won't make it just because it's a lot of fucking Titans and you can get overwhelmed. Even being a human who can turn into a Titan, like you're strong as shit, you could think a little more clearly, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I can only assume Ymir has decent control over her Titan form, but I don't know. We're going to find out. If uh, any of the other Titans are any indication, like basically everyone other than Eren. I'd assume so. Beast Titan is still the biggest question mark to me right now because he's off doing something. Like he sent them off over there. Maybe knowing everyone would go, would head out and see what's going on. So he could go in and do something. Historia. This has to be a flashback. Nine hours? Were they marching for nine hours? Holy shit. Okay. All right, so they went off somewhere. Oh, maybe. Wow. Yeah, sucks, but I don't want to send anyone else out there to die, man. But okay, this is what happened. Are they dragging a body? Is that Daz? Oh, no. Oh, he's okay. He's damn near dead. It's crazy, because how would you know that you could go through this training until you did it? Like, Oh. Is this um maybe when she made the promise to her that she was talking about before? Or something to do I I don't know. 
Maybe it's even before that. I think that was about her family. What? Oh. Oh, damn. Borrowing. Oh, shit. Damn. Fucked from the beginning. Hmm. <laughs> They're going to freeze to death having this great moment. Daz is already dead. Oh, some, some good words from your mirror. Oh. Oh my goodness. Hopefully. Oh my gosh. His only real chance. Man, that's true. <laughs> She's tired of her shit. <laughs> God, jeez. The girl, I'm not playing with you. I'm not trying to freeze out here. But it's it's fucked up. Like, cause yeah, if they they keep if they keep dragging him, he's not gonna make it. But if they take the chance and made him take, it's it's just fucked up either way. Just one of those no right answers, really. Just a less wrong answer.
Morally, I mean, practically, this is the best way. Oh, damn. What the fuck? Did she jump with him? Aaron. That's the thing. Aaron, every time Aaron tries to be a hero, Mikasa and Armin just have to go along. Okay, I like this. All right. Hell yeah. I saw what Reiner did last episode. Jeez. Wow. Oh, the whole team. Uh, wait, did she? No way. I like how she threw her at the tree, and then she just... Huh. Oh, man, he made it. Good shit. I wonder if she transformed to do it. That's the noise they heard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So at that last moment at Utgard, she ain't Krista no more. <sighs> Back to it. Damn, I like these two now. What the fuck? First potato girl. Now these two. And I love this moment, but. Huh. But and see, I love this moment so much, but. Yet more questions. Oh my gosh, she's a tiny ass Titan. What the fuck? Oh my god, that is scary. Holy shit. Wait, no fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. That was her? No fucking way. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Do not play. Oh, he's like, yo, what do you know? And yeah, he's pissed about seeing that same Titan that took whoever that was to him from him. Listen, I don't know if she should lie or not right now. This is... Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, she didn't know because... 
She was like, when I reveal my secret, promise me that you'll do this. Uh, yeah, she's definitely been aware. Yeah, but you have to hide it, honestly. Because I have to wonder how many of these people become Titans by choice. And these are like young people. Like, it almost makes me think that all of them were under similar circumstances to Eren, didn't really choose their destiny to become a Titan. Ooh, she fighting. She fighting, fighting. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. She's protecting. Oh. No, that Titan grip is dumb strong. Hey, 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 now. Huh. Live for yourself. Yo. Ooh. Oh, shit. Damn. I'd be pissed at Crystal. Like, yo, what you mean? What you mean bring the tower down? Oh, shit. Oh. Better jump in her palms. Oh. Damn. I love hearing Titans talk more. From the human ones, it makes sense. But then again, all Titans might just be humans originally, which I, I they totally are, probably. Good shit. But, uh... Of course. Hey, ugly. Yo, deadass, that's... That's not a flattering transformation. Yikes. <laughs> My dude with... With the bowl cut and the stash. Oh, it's over, over. Yikes. Ugh. Skin devoured. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, it's If she dies here, this that would be some stupid shit. No way. Oh, thank thank fucking goodness you finally got here. Oh. She is too, she's too cold, man. Mikasa is great. Oh. 
It's over. The pros in the building. Like many pros. Like important to the plot pros. Y'all be all right. Good shit, Aaron. Yeah, that's true. He hasn't he hasn't gotten a kill before. So pros and Aaron. <laughs> You'll get there. Well, I guess he's never killed a Titan as a human. So first one, technically. I love the spinny move, man. You catch that momentum. Done. Now the Beast Titan. What did he go do? He climbed the wall and then like, he's like, all right, y'all good? All right, I'm going to keep going. What did he go do? Probably won't find out till next episode. But shit, now they got to deal with Ymir being a titan. Oh, shit. She did not regenerate. She's gone. Oh, she's still alive? What the fuck? Uh, do we get some... Okay, all right. Oh, I love the way they they build up to the episode title. Historia. Oh, then she died after knowing. Oh, fuck you, show. That is, that is some. That is sad. Or maybe she didn't die. I don't know. She's missing an arm and a leg. I don't know. I don't know, man. Somehow Full Metal made it. Maybe she's all right. But. <laughs> this song is so haunting. I don't know how it makes me feel. It's just like. Unnerving. I don't know. <laughs> Very sweet episode. I hope Ymir isn't dead because if y'all know me, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for emotional shit in shows, man. I just like seeing how they explore that and if it can make me feel something. You know, it's not like I'm going to cry or anything. Nowhere near that. But I, don't, I just like I like things like that, especially in a show like this where everything is just so dire, like a loss is around every corner. Where half the people are just stone cold, half. But the other half are, are still holding on to their hopes. It's like. But it's, it's not even that cut and dry either. Like everyone's kind of in this gray area. In terms of emotion. Like it's dynamic. And this is the thing I feel like maybe. Um, I didn't quite understand. Because yeah. Because Titans were the inside of the wall, so they assumed the hole was there. But didn't we see it before? So now I'm like, now it's like gaslighting me. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I... but knowing the walls are made of Titans, hardened Titan skin, it's like they could have just rip, rip. I don't know, man. But then again, you know, the hole aside, it's not there. So how did they appear on the inside? That's still a good question. So my thing is maybe new new titans were just created because there's no way they recovered every single corpse or because I, I don't know, man. 
it's, it's, it's the thing because, again, Titans can't reproduce, but they can be made. Obviously, they're made using something, probably humans, whether that's, I don't know if you can use dead humans. Because then again, thinking back to Connie's uh, village, no one was killed. There's no blood. Nothing. And then just a titan that reminded hit Connie of his mother. Hmm. But uh, I guess she got stuck there. Maybe like deep down, like her want, her wanting of uh, wanting to see Connie again or just wait for him. She kind of just planted herself there. Maybe she, she just couldn't get the will to move because of that. Who knows? It, like, it's very strange like how much it makes me wonder how much humanity can leak through when you're a titan like that. Not like a transforming titan, but just like a straight up titan who like that irreversible change. Like how much, assuming I'm right, how much humanity is still there. Not much for the majority of Titans, obviously. Like they're all, they all have this programming to want to eat humans, and I'm sure she did too, still does. But it's just some something there, and I, I just wonder if if that'll be like a plot point at some point. If there's going to be a normal Titan that will maybe be, be cooperative or, or listen to Aaron or whoever, because. The other, like the Beast Titan can combine, can Titans. It seems like the Colossal Titan was working in conjunction with the other Titans. Team with the Armored. Hard to say, man. Because whenever Eren transformed, it's like they all went for him. I don't know. And then, then with Annie, when she did the yell and they all came to eat her, would they have done that anyway? Did she just yell specifically to be eaten? I don't know. There's too much mystery here, but I, I, I mess with it, man. It's so funny. I had a, a friend DM me, shout out to Sir Lion Turtle, uh, who's like reading the manga or just knowing what's going to happen. It's like, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, by the way, your theory about what's going on. This is what it actually is and wanting to say it so badly. Uh, I can't imagine, man, what it's going to reveal this season and in season three, because I know a lot goes down in that season particularly. but. Even this one is shaping up to be pretty cool, man. So that's all I got to say about this one. Thank you for watching with me as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.